Okay, so we're just going to give a quick demo of, uh, of how the SiteMaster Studio works. Um, but basically, it's an online system for creating, uh, designing, and updating, and maintaining websites. And so on the site here, I've just created a starter site. It's got just uh, one page in it, and then it's got a master page. And the way SiteMaster is designed is you can control your layout of your site um, on very, by, by creating what we call master pages, which allows consistent look and feel and so on and so forth. So um, on this master page here, I'm going to drag over a search input box. I'm just going to drag it over here and put it at the top of the page. And so now, if I, if that, that is basically created a search um, system for, for, our, uh, for our site. If I look on one of these other pages that I've created, which is a home page, you'll see there's a couple of boxes here. On the top left, you've got the logo. On the right here, you've got the search input box, and those are on the master page. So any, any new pages I create will have those. And then I've got some content blocks that I've created down the bottom. If I want to add items to those, say I want to have a picture of some of our characters, I'll put a picture of uh, Zoe, our editor. We'll put her on there right in the middle there. And so I use just the interactively drag on where my object is put. If I want to move it up, I want to move it down. Um, I can put what I want. The same thing with other elements like uh, text content. So I want to put some text content on there. I drag it on. It puts it in there. As soon as I start clicking on it, I can, uh, I can edit the text. I can format it how I want, just using standard you know, non-technical ways. Um, if I want to actually take a look at what this site's going to look like, um, I click and the on preview, the preview, I can see what the actual site's going to look like. And I, I can take a look at it in different resolutions. I can actually look, take and see what it's going to look like on uh, mobile devices. We do some intelligent refactoring, so it looks, uh, this is uh, what it would look like on an Apple iPhone um, right there. And then, you know, you can go back to, there's a Windows mobile device or various Blackberries, and then back to the desktop. And so you can get a flavor of what your site's going to look like. Uh, both in for desktop users as well as for mobile devices. Um, if I want to have um, people that are that are uh, uh, allowed to do certain things within my site, but not within, but not touch other things, uh, every every element that you put on a page can have its own access control. So in this picture here, for example, say I'm going to want and anybody to, to actually edit that, change that picture, I'm going to make sure that they have to be in a certain role. So I just changed a, a flag on that element. And I'm currently logged in as a particular user, but I'll, I'll sign out and I'll log back in as a different user. So I'm just going to log back in. And so now uh, I can, I'm logged in as an editor. I can change it, edit this text that I have here before. That's no problem. I won't be able to do anything on our picture here because I've changed the access rights on that. So that, you know that that can't be changed. And so what this does is it basically puts anybody that's working on the site in a position to make the correct changes without impacting anything else. Um, and I'll just go back in and log in as the, as the same user again. We'll start looking at maybe a little bit more sophisticated functionality. So say you, it's not that you wanted a, a picture there, but you actually wanted an input form where you could get people to actually contribute data and so on and so forth. Um, what you do is you go over to your elements tab and there's a variety of elements that, in, that are available. So I'm going to drag this create new form object and drop it right on the, on the page there. And that's created a basic form for us that's just got a single text field. So what happens is you basically have a variety of field types to choose from. I'm going to add um, some things that are you know, normal, so phone number, uh, and then say an email address, and so on and so forth. And I've just been just dragging those in. So what you'll see is that the form's actually been updated so that you have the, visu the visualization of the form. But more importantly, the, the, the behavior of the form has been created. So when you actually go and run the site, you'll see all the the appropriate validation has been created automatically for you so that a phone number can only be a phone number. You can't type something else in and so on and so forth. Um, and then equally as important is the data, the back end uh, of this, what's, what's called the database, will basically be created automatically. So I can create, uh, I have this form that, that's been created and it has the various text fields in the database has already been written for you so you can capture data without doing any programming. So I'll go over the style sheet editor here and I've got some custom styles that are all built up. But say I want to set my font for every, uh, for the entire uh, site to be a particular font. So I'll just create a, a custom body tag here, and I'm going to make the font uh, Verdana, you know, for the sake of uh, the demo. And I'm going to make so that the font size is going to be 24 pixels, just to show that it, you have that level of control. So I've just done, you know, typed in a, a little bit of CSS, and I'll go back and take a look at the site. And you'll see that all the fonts and the fields and so on and so forth have been adjusted based on CSS. And so you've got the ability to have very complicated sites built very, very dramatically and completely tailor and control the look of your site.
you know, one of the things that we wanted to create with the Site Blaster system was something that would be very intuitive and easy to use and uh, interactive for the novice user, but also we didn't want to have any system that would sacrifice flexibility.